Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is a little day in the life around the house. I wanted to give you some life updates and just welcome you to the second quarter of the year. It's April and I'm so excited to jump into so many fun projects. If you're new here, my name's Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking and I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you're returning, it's so great to see your beautiful face. All right, let's jump into this great day with the kids. As many of you know, I start every single morning with my AG1. If you aren't familiar with AG1, it is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports the whole body's health. Here are some of the benefits and why I like it. It helps with healthy aging, daily nutrients for both your body and gut, immune defense, focus and energy, and stress recovery. AG1 supports mental clarity, focus, and energy, which really helps me get through my days. It also delivers high quality vitamins and nutrients from which whole foods along with pre and probiotic that diversify your gut's microbiome. One of the things I love about AG1 is they source the highest quality vitamins and minerals that can break down really easily in your lower intestines to make sure that you guys absorb as much of the product as possible. For focus and energy, it has adaptogens and B vitamins which support sustained energy, concentration, and mental performance. Again, these are things that I love without having the ca caffeine crash or having to drink coffee in the day. Each serving of AG1 comes complete with vitamins, minerals, stress adaptogens, pre and probiotics, antioxidants, superfoods, mushrooms, and digestive support, yet it's free of things like gluten, dairy, GMOs, peanuts, all sugars, eggs, lactose, and animal byproducts. My experience with AG1 over the last month and a half has been incredible. I feel that I have a boost in energy. I feel that it has been supporting healthy and clear, brighter skin. I don't need as much coffee. I've had a reduction in bloating, and I just feel overall, I just feel better. I also feel that I have more clarity throughout the day. I'm not as stressed, and on a day like today, when I have all the kids home for spring break and my husband is at work, I could really use less stress and a little bit more of a calmer day without that caffeine crash at two o'clock. So if you're like me and you'd like to enjoy the benefits of all the things I shared with you today with AG1, check out the QR code I have here on the screen, or you can use the link down below. That will get you a free one-year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video and providing me a healthy healthy routine I get to look forward to every single morning. Since the kids were on spring break, my routine's been a little bit off this week. I went for a nice run this morning before my husband took off, changed, and decided to start breakfast. I thought I would do little um, ham and cheese sandwiches for the kids. Nobody wanted eggs for whatever reason today, so we just melted a little cheese, and then I ended up giving them some fruit. But for today, I had the pool heater on. The kids were all outside swimming. It was a beautiful day. We had two high 70s days, and as I'm doing this voiceover, it's pouring rain outside, so spring is still doing its thing. We don't mind though. So I thought I'd take advantage, let the kids play outside. And I pretty much spend majority of my time cooking when the kids are home. I don't know why it always feels that way, but I start prepping dinner and I prep three meals during the day. So we're going to spend a little bit of time here in the kitchen. But the first thing I want to do is get breakfast on the table. These English muffins from Model Bakery are so good. I think you can pick them up at Whole Foods. It actually is from my hometown here in Napa Valley, but I will put a link down below. They are the best English muffins in the world. While the kids were playing outside, I decided to start to prep our lunch. Today, I'm going to be making a really delicious, simple lunch. We're gonna make some grilled asparagus. I'm going to do a little bit of grilled chicken, and I had it marinating for um, about a day. I did it the night before because I thought we were gonna make this, but we ended up making something different, so it's been marinating, so it's gonna be delicious, and we're just gonna head out to the grill. I need to deep clean my backyard. That is the next video coming out because I went out there to grill, and it's really, really gross. We need 
need to deep clean the grill. We need to deep clean our whole outside cooking area where we eat everything because it's just really messy. And I've been letting the chickens play out there and they just poop everywhere. Highly recommend if you're gonna get chickens, make sure you've got plenty of space in your backyard. I also wanna take you out to the garden to show you how things are going out there because I am getting so excited. We'll be planting our garden in the next two weeks. Oftentimes when I have to work from home, I will sit at this table. That way I can keep an eye on all the kids, make sure they're safe. They run in and out of this door pretty much all day. But for now, I cleaned all that up and we're going to set the table for a nice family lunch. I always like to have a really healthy lunch when the kids are home. At school, they always get kind of the same things and oftentimes there's processed foods in their lunch. So when they're home for lunch and dinner, I always try to make a very healthy, balanced, whole foods meal. So today I'm just going to do a little pasta. We're going to chop up some chicken and then I have some avocados and uh, fruit for them to eat. But we're going to set the table and then I'll take you guys outside. I'm just going to light the barbecue and let this kind of heat up before I really start to deep clean it. It really helps get anything off of it. But then I was gonna take you over to the garden and show you all the things, but my chickens were having a ball. You have to see it. I've never seen them all dirt bath together. Usually one will dirt bath. You having fun, guys? Look at Creamy is just underneath the wire. While the barbecue is heating up, I thought I'd take a moment to try to clean up the living room area where the kids have pretty much been stationed watching movies and hanging out and playing games. Um, tell us in the comments down below if you take care of children. Did you guys have a good spring break? Did you do anything fun? Um, we stayed home. My husband and I both had to work. It was a very intense work week for both of us randomly, so um, we didn't get to go do anything fun, but we do have a fun trip planned for the summer, so hopefully we can make that up. I've been trying to keep the kids happy at the house, so playing the pool, jumping on the trampoline, going to the park, having lots of sleepovers and play dates. Um, but it has been otherwise a very boring spring break. I feel awful for the kids, but um, I had to work. But for the most part, I would love to live vicariously through your uh, spring break plan. So let us know what those were in the comments down below. It is starting to heat up here, so let's get the barbecue ready to go. I am starving and ready for lunch. I am just going to give this a nice little clean, and then I'm going to throw the chicken on here. I had it all ready to go. I'm just gonna put it on the grill, and then I'm also gonna do my asparagus at the very end. I plan to cut up the asparagus and just make myself a simple salad nothing too fancy. I really like to eat lots of greens and then always add a protein to any meal that I have during the day. Oftentimes I won't eat breakfast, but I will eat a nice healthy lunch. So a salad or something like that. And then we have a really nice, um, kind of more hearty dinner. I oftentimes don't eat things like 
um, rice, pasta. I try not to eat things that are high in carbohydrates. I try to eat things that are high in protein, iron, and then obviously nice green vegetables, which will typically be more seasonal. So for lunch, I'm just going to make a simple salad with some chicken as protein, and then the kids will eat that as well. I did a teriyaki. Um, it's a teriyaki marinade that I get from Trader Joe's. It is so good. And when you barbecue it, the teriyaki almost like gets really crunchy because of the sugar. But my kids love it and it's not spicy, so it's an easy thing to whip up for lunch. I was barbecuing the back door was left open and the chickens came in here and I needed to mop the floors real quick I'm waiting for the chicken to cool down anyway it's way too hot to serve the kids so I am just going to quickly mop the floor oftentimes the chickens are not dirty but right now because they just dirt bath they came in here and there was dirt all over the floor and if I don't clean it up right now it's just gonna track throughout the house so I'm gonna get that done and by the time I'm done mopping the floor chicken will be ready to chop up I also need to get some pasta going for the kids' side. going to whip up everything we have for lunch. I was so excited my husband was able to come home from the winery and have lunch with us. Those are always really wonderful times when we can kind of sneak away, spend a little extra time with the kids, but I also wanted to clean the kitchen before we sat down for lunch. I really struggle when I finish lunch with which will obviously create another large mess and have to clean up an old mess. So we're just gonna tidy up in here a little bit and then I'm going to start by chopping up all of the chicken and stuff for the children and then we will sit down and have a nice family meal and then I will share with you a little life update. For the little kids, I decided to dice up the chicken and put it in a bowl. One of the reasons I like to keep the kids' food separated is so that I can see how much they're eating. If I put the chicken in their pasta, oftentimes they will kind of eat around it, but if I put them in different areas, I can see, did they finish their pasta? Did they finish their chicken? Did they finish their avocados? And then we start negotiating if they want to go outside. You need to eat five more pieces of chicken. You guys all know the drill. So for my husband and I, I'm going to do a salad. This is my favorite jalapeno ranch. I get it at Whole Foods and then I use um, dino kale happens to be my favorite or Tuscan kale or whatever you call it um, is so good and then I thought we'd just put in those grilled asparagus I think I had um, a little bit more of those green onions and I also wanted to add a beautiful avocado to the side just to make it you know extra a little more high in protein, I guess. So one of the exciting things I wanted to share with you guys is I am going to be doing um, more day in the life videos than I have in previous times. Uh, I always have theme videos, but I'm going to be trying something a little different. I'm also going to be sharing things uh, a little bit outside of my house, which I haven't done before. Things around my town and some other really fun things as I am uh, going to start a partnership with our local Napa Valley Life magazine. So I will be sharing a lot more with you you, um, coming soon. So definitely subscribe if you want to check that out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are having a great spring break and I will see you in the next video real soon. There's so much more fun to come. See you guys in the next one. Bye.